Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome back to yet another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. We have so much to do today including hatch our Dilophosaurus, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need a feeder for this Dilophosaurus, so I'm going to go ahead and build a feeder. There we go. Thank you very much. We have our analyzer and yes, we are going to be moving some of our stuff into our treehouse today. What else do we need? Ah, yes, a fishing pole. Because I remember that I wanted to get a cheetah. Kigoshita. So there we go. Fishing pole. Is there anything else I need to build here? I don't think so. However, I do need to run out. Yeah, we can't move our chests yet, because we have we have lots of chests. Let me just double check and make sure that we have this on normal. Yes, we do. Okay. And Yes, we need to kill cows. We need to get some meat. So let's Let's run up here and kill some cows very quickly. Hello, giant collection of cows. So many of you. So many of you. Switch that out. We don't need our bed at the moment. Make some babies. So many baby cows. Yes, alright. Good. Get some babies going on in here. And... Kill the adults. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, the carnage. How much meat do we have? I want... I want about 20 pieces. 20 pieces should be good for now. To kill a few more cows. Alright, alright, that's good. And let's get out. Goodbye, cows. You're, you're just a, a little bit too loud for my likings. Speed. Sprinting. So I finished the little fence up here and I put a little gate because Dilophosaurs, when they're born, I believe they're quite small. So here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump in here. We're going to drop our Dilophosaur egg here. Should have plenty of time to hatch. It doesn't really matter if I'm here or not when this hatches because as far as I remember, I cannot tame a Dilophosaur, even if I'm here when it hatches. So I'm just going to throw this meat in here. Only 840. Wow, that, that is definitely not a lot of meat. Okay, so I'll need to get a little bit more meat, but we'll we'll do that later. And now that I have a fishing pole... Yes. Oh. Uh. Alright then, sure. Why not? Ah. Ah. <laughs> that's That's not what I want to do. Okay. So I know that I can, like, grab a monsters with this thing, apparently, but, uh... I've never done that before, and I've never actually fished before, so this... This should be a new, entertaining experience for me. A new way of getting meat as well. Hello? Waiting? Waiting? Is something going to bite it? I have no idea. Oh, hello, fish! Wow, that, that was much faster than I thought it would be. Okay, I'll, I'll catch a few more fish. Maybe, like, two two more fish. Can I catch a squid? The squid's going near it. Come here, come here squid. Come here, squid. Come to papa. No? You don't? You, you don't want to don't don't come chill? That's cool. That's cool, squid. We're just we're just waiting for another fish because I I have no idea how many fish it takes to tame a cheetah or a leopard or whatever that thing is that jungle cat but I I know I want one so we need some fish <laughs> hello fish you certainly are taking your time aren't you fish certainly taking your time what happens if I run around. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go over here. Because I don't feel like waiting there anymore. Hatunk! No? Fish it? Oh, I missed it. Fish it? Fish it, fish it, fish it. No? 
Well, I guess we should talk while we fish. So, I have, at the moment, what, 230 subscribers? You guys are totally awesome. You keep coming out of nowhere. Like, every time I refresh the page, next thing you know, there's another subscriber. Every time I go to sleep at night, since I live in Korea, and American Prime Time is basically in the middle of the night, my time, every time I wake up, it's like, bam, you have another 8 subscribers. And... That's really awesome. Welcome, guys. You, you're you totally cool. I enjoy having you on my channel. I'm really happy that you guys seem to enjoy my content. We have a new outro that was made by a friend of mine named Molly. If you guys need any graphic design work, we're totally going to use that outro at the end so you can check it out. If you like it, let me know. And uh, you can contact Molly and get her to do your outro as well. She probably has pretty reasonable rates. She's looking for freelance work at the moment. So, uh... Should be pretty cool. Why why are these fish not biting? I would appreciate some bites, fish. Okay, I'm bored. Let's go. So we're gonna go check out the Dilophosaur since it was probably hatched by now. Whee! Other things, other things. My January report for income, YouTube income. Hello, little baby Dilophosaur. You're so cute. My January report, I finished it and posted it on Real Life Magnus, so you guys can go over there and look at that. I'm going to put a link up in the top right hand corner in annotations. Oh, man! He's so adorable. Look at you. Look, you're so tiny. You're like as big as a baby Velociraptor. Can I, like, can I, can I get you? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, that that was that was not no that That wasn't what I wanted at all Yeah, you just you just wait in there. Okay, okay That that was dumb ladies and gentlemen do not do that. Okay, don't don't hit your little Dilophosaur. I Hope I can log out of the game and he forgets that yeah, don't don't hit your Dilophosaur with a fishing pole. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Okay, we're getting out of here. Um so <laughs> that that was a bad idea. Um I'm gonna feed him some more later. Let's go ahead and place some stuff in our new house since I've picked up our, our cultivator and our analyzer. We're gonna put put these things up here. Although I think the cultivator should go maybe somewhere different. Maybe I'm gonna make an underground part to this. Because cultivators can spawn creepers, I'm pretty sure. And creepers are definitely not something I want inside of my treehouse. That, no, that, that wouldn't go well at all. Where... Where should I place these things? Alright, so my bed... I think my bed can just go here in the corner, maybe? Maybe right here. Oh wait, can I, can I place things on leaves? Oh, I can't place things on leaves. No. Um, all right then. So, I can't place things on leaves. I'm going to have to cut out some of these. Do I have any I do not have any wood on me. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to have to cut out some of these leaves and put wood here instead. I I got gotcha. you. Oh, things that I should have tried to do off camera. Oh well. So, some other things to talk about. So, the January income report. If any of you are curious about how much income I'm making from AdSense revenue, you should totally go check that out. It was really surprising for January that uh, I made as much as I did. I really didn't expect that. And we're going to make a lot more in February, so you should subscribe to Real Life Magnus. Check out the next video. Uh, let's see, I need, I need wood. You should check out the next video. Is jungle wood planks, jungle wood, and jungle wood. Because already I can tell you that we're going to, well, I mean, we've already surpassed January's income for February, so it's it's going to be a really awesome month, especially if I make some more Minecraft dinosaur vids, since those are the ones you guys seem to enjoy so much. But, uh, yeah, wow, I'm I'm overwhelmed by the amount of support that my YouTube channel has gotten so far. I really... I don't know. It's it's hard to explain just how, how it feels emotionally to have a YouTube channel where people are actually interested in watching your content. Because I, I didn't really expect that, to be honest. I thought that I would just show up and I would make some videos and people would be like, Ah, oh, dude, that's, that's cool, whatever. But apparently some people are actually, like, pretty emotionally invested in this whole thing. And, yeah, can I get away with just having, like, a small sort of... Yeah, there's, there's my bed there. 
And if I can just like... What if I knock out one of these? How about if I put the analyzer in the wall? Oh, that's totally fine. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Alright. And then if I just put my chest right here... Eh, sure, why not? That's that's not that bad looking. I'm okay with that. Where to put the cultivator though? All right, so I'll I'll show you guys a little something. Is it nighttime? It may be nighttime. Let's see. Yes, it is. All right, going to sleep. Okay, we're awake. So something that I was thinking of doing. So the deal is is that this is a three by three, right? We have nine trees that are two by two large. And this tree, this tree here is the middle one. I can get to this tree from inside my treehouse if I dig down through the through the leaves. And what I was thinking of doing was using jungle wood to artificially make this a 3x3 three three tree instead of a 2x2. Two two. And then hollowing out the middle piece and using that as a ladder going down. So that I could then go underground from inside of my treehouse. And I think if I do that... If I put a bunch of cultivators down there underground, I would feel safe with possible creepers spawning... Hey, Charles. Some creepers spawning underground, but I wouldn't really feel comfortable with them spawning inside my treehouse, considering the fact that that treehouse took way too long to make, and it's really fragile, and it's obviously made of wood and leaves, things that would explode very easily. I don't want to deal with that. There's a random workbench up there. Hey, Dilophosaur, have you stopped trying to kill me? Are you, are, are you good? You good, man? Do you not? Ow! Ow! Okay, no. No, he's he's trying to eat me. That's that's not good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo! All right, so the Dilophosaur is still angry. I will remember that. We're going to keep you in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I hit you with a fishing rod, Dilophosaur. Oh, God. So, so much stress. Oh, hello, Creeper. Your very presence bothers me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and destroy you. But yeah, so the, the channel's been growing really great, and that makes me happy, and... I uh, I really don't know what to say to you guys directly other than that. Um, there are some things that I still need to do, such as my 100 subscriber. Now that you know I'm well on my way to 300, I need to do my 100 subscriber special event thing where I answer questions from my subscribers. You can find that in my old uploaded videos. It was like maybe two and a half weeks ago. I would love to do that sooner, but I've been so busy with real life stuff. It's Lunar New Year here in Korea. It's a big time, big holiday. And generally because, I mean, making videos takes time and making a video of me in person is sort of different and new and I'm not really sure how to put it all together. So, so that's why. We have a fish now, we should go look for a cheetah. That's, that's why I've been delaying on that because really I have lots to do and collaboration with Wes and... Hello? Cheetah? Collaboration with Wes and Graves, that took up time making the January report. That took almost an entire evening because... Hello, Enderman. I hear you, but I don't see you. don't see any jungle cats either. So, yeah, things like that, they take up time and it's just really busy. This is not a full-time job sort of thing for me like it is for some YouTubers. So, I just ask your patience as long as you understand that I'm only human. And for January, I uploaded 34 videos, so that's more than one video a day. That's pretty awesome. So I think you guys understand. I think I think generally you're okay with that. Although I understand that you love Minecraft dinosaurs, also please don't, like, go into spore videos and be like, More Minecraft dinosaurs, we hate your spore, because that just makes everyone feel bad. It makes me feel unloved. And don't you want me to feel loved? Don't we all just want to feel loved deep down? Something like that. Where where are the jungle cats? I don't... Oh, gosh. I can't believe I saw a jungle cat and I didn't have any fish, man. I didn't have any fish. There's so many sheep, but no jungle cats. 
Jungles are difficult to walk through. So many vines. Hello, cave system somewhere? I don't even know. Hmm. Yeah, I... I have no idea where I am. Get out of my way. Well, I think it's to say I think it's safe to say that I'm probably lost at this point. Still looking for a jungle cat, haven't found one. Even if I do find one, what the heck am I gonna do with it? Just tame it, then run out of here. I I at this point actually have no idea where I am. Okay, so maybe this was a really terrible idea. Um Right. Well then, this this should be an interesting little twist to our series. Can Magnus find his way back to his dinosaurs in order to in order to feed them? I'm pretty pretty sure. If I just yeah, when it when it becomes nighttime, I'll be able to find my way out. I think because I know which way the moon rises from from my home. And that way is the way out of the jungle. So, if worse comes to worse, the moon should show me out. I really need to install that mini map. Where's where's the sun? Sun, which way are you going? Going that way? Which means I have to go this way. All right. Um I will I will trust the sun for now. Uh let's see if we spend the next 3 minutes walking back to our dinosaurs. This was a terrible idea. Why did I go into the jungle? I just want a jungle cat. Uh sigh. Oh, wells. Oh, yeah, something interesting happened during the uh today actually I received my first invitation from a network. Yeah, I'm not going to say the name of the network because I don't want to, to spread any names or say bad... Hello, there's my home. Well, there you go. We found our way home. I don't want to say any bad things about any particular people, but my close friends know who the network is. But yeah, so I got my first message from a network saying like, Yo, we would really like to partner you and we would like you to join our network and make us money. And I... Well, maybe I wasn't very polite, but I, I politely declined a little bit harshly maybe it sort of felt insulting to me that they copied and pasted the same message to like everyone that i found online who had gotten invitations to the same network and obviously they didn't even really check out any of my content to know who i was personally clearly i'm still a small channel and no one's going to be interested in partnering me and like caring who i am until i'm larger so i'm i'm not really interested in that personally I, th I should really go check out that snow biome sometime. And hope this still officer doesn't try to kill me. But yeah, so I'm not very interested in partnering with any networks, actually. Um, especially not with that one. And I am just gonna stay me. And I'm gonna be me. And I'm gonna do Minecraft and Kerbal Space Program and other indie games. And I'm just... Pff, I'm not gonna worry about all of it. That's That's just about all there is to it. I I enjoy being independent. I enjoy being able to tell you all how much I make on AdSense on my alternate channel, Real Life Magnus. Hello, Bartholomew. How are you doing? Huge as always. And I enjoy having the freedom to do the sort of games that I want to do. I hear that some networks actually encourage you to do certain kinds of games and not others, stuff like that. I, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with people telling me that I can't tell others how much I make because I consider that a, a personal, personal civil liberty to be able to discuss how much I make financially. Hey Odysseus, how are you doing? You have food? Yeah, you have food, you're good. Yeah, so I'm not going to be accepting any sort of network advice anytime soon, maybe far in the future, but for now, probably not. We, uh, we did a lot of things in today's episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. We hatched a Dilophosaurus, finished that cage over there, moved some stuff into our home, our treehouse home, accidentally almost killed our baby Dilophosaurus, 
Uh, I can't really think of anything else that we need to talk about, and this episode's about 20 minutes long, so remember earlier I told you that we have an outro? So I'm going to go ahead and skip to that outro and let you enjoy it. This is Magnus, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.